Hi, I'm Heinbach. It's good to have you back. I've got a big, heavy box here. And in this box is something that I hope will music. I've got no idea if it works and I haven't heard any sound from this. The only thing I know is that Dennis Vershaw of the Wavefront Research Center said this is a good thing to have. So in this video I want to show you one of the less glamorous parts of test equipment music. Buying something and then opening up the box and figuring out if it works and there's a 50-50 chance that it won't. So yeah, welcome to the joy and agony of making music with test equipment. I bet those of you who've watched my channel a bit longer might already guess what it is simply by looking at these holes and the format size. Oh, and you were looking at the back plate already. <laughs> so you will know what this is. Leave your best guesses in the comments now. Okay, are you done? Perfect. I'm going to open it. This is a Breland Care 2120 frequency analyzer. And if you hear the word frequency analyzer, your ears should always pick up if you're into old high quality test equipment, because that usually means there is a filter in here. And in this case, it's not just a band pass filter. This has switchable low and high pass filters and band stop filters. This is a very versatile unit. I already have one of these which turned on but produced no sound. I do hope this one works because I did spend quite a bit of money. I think it was 250 euros. Yeah, which is about as much as you have to pay for one of these untested now. But yeah, we'll find out in a second, I guess. These often come with a proprietary breathing care connector, but this one has already been adapted to a standard power cable, which I just plugged in. So, Back here it's set to AC. And now I should just have to turn it on. Oh! Whew. The moment of truth. Meh. Oh, power cable wasn't in correctly. Well, all right. So we got a gain control. So this has an amplifier. Then we've got we can switch the input to direct or preamp. So this can power one of the Brilliant Care microphones. And uh, then we can select the filters here. Band stop, band pass, high pass and low pass. Frequency range is here. And we get a frequency fine tuning here. Ah, frequency tuning manual and auto. Bandwidth for the filters. Then we get an attenuator on the output. Can I input something into it? For the input on Brilliant Care, you can take banana cables, just standard banana cables. They need to be a bit slim, but those will just work fine. And you need to check for the direct input. So something's in here. I'm gonna route this to an oscillator over here. Good. And I need to also connect the ground. So now we got the ground connected. So we got something on the input and we can see it's already getting some voltage. Plug the output. <laughs> A pretty overloaded signal. Okay, so this works. This does work. This is 
is so cool. You can see I move this and this moves too. But I wonder what it is. It's like an internal signal here. That's kind of nice. That's nice. So just a second. This is our input signal. This is what we get. Okay. This here is kind of the reason why I love test equipment. I mean, I get all these results that I had no idea how to do them or it wouldn't have occurred to me to do it like this. Just as I was gonna try an external filter, I started to notice a funny smell. And when the funny smell comes in, it's time to turn this off. This unit needs a complete overhaul to be actually musically useful. But I think I got some cool samples out of that. Let's see what I can do with those. I think I'm just gonna stay digital to make something out of this because right now I'm pretty fed up with test equipment and analog. It's, it's a lot of, frustration involved in this sometimes. This is good. That's one. It's actually pretty cool, this little shuffle here. That's a nice bass. Oh, it's beautiful. I think we found our base. Okay, rhythm, pad and lead. I think we got all the main ingredients. Let's do it.
at least before it died, it was able to sing a beautifully dark swan song, which is something. But that's the whole thing with the test equipment. It's kind of dangerous what I'm doing, actually. All these things should be looked at by a professional, should be probably recapped. And I got the smell of dying caps in my nose still from this unit. But yeah, that would make this a rather expensive endeavor because the attraction for me in the test equipment is that it's always cheap and it would easily triple or double at least the amount of cost. But that said, I'll see if I can get these repaired. And yeah, this one and the other one, that would be beautiful. And to put them to good use instead of just, yeah, dying use. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to be uploading a sample pack of these swan song sounds to the Patreon and they're free to use in your music, of course, as always. If you have any questions, do leave in the comments below or visit the subreddit. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.